Hey, good afternoon and welcome back to the channel. Hey, today I just wanted to talk with uh, with you guys about um, about picking your, your franchise plans. Um, I, I get a lot of em emails about um, what plan should I choose? Should I choose the executive or should I come in um, at the FP5? Um, and here's my thoughts. It depends on you. It depends on what your what your plans are and how you plan on building your business. I teach to come in at the lowest, the lowest tier because you could use that money effectively elsewhere. But if you choose to take an executive plan, you know, being that you're trying to come out the gate, build your business and have guaranteed contracts um, of a minimum of a hundred thousand plus, that's something that you guys have to, Think about, I mean, that's your business. I, eventually, you know, you know, at the end of the day, it's your money. You want to invest it any kind of way you, you know, you can. But I, from my experience of being in the business for seven years, I think that it could be used wisely elsewhere. Um, because as at, at the end of the day, Jam Pro is going to build the business for you. Um, they're going to make sure that you get contracts as long as you are providing quality service. Now, if you go and put 20,000 down or 25,000 down on a business for about a hundred thousand worth of business, you have to remember, you have to remember two things. First, find out how long it's going to take for your master franchise franchise or to um fulfill those contracts so it could take 90 days it could take they may have it to where it takes a month but you have to make sure that within that time period um you're not waiting around for six months for them to fulfill your contracts because within that time you could have came in at the fp5 and built your business for a hundred to a hundred K, you know? So those are the things that I look at by me being in the business for seven years. Um, I've had, a, I've had a couple of people that bought in, you know, spent a lot of money and bought into the business that way. And it never worked out for them. You know, they, um, didn't like the business and, um, they end up quitting or the master franchiser, um, got them the contracts but you know they wasn't fulfilling those contracts they end up losing the contracts before they got the entire con you know max load of contracts so those are different scenarios that you have to be mindful of you know hey am i gonna truly want to work this business am i gonna even like the business why would i invest all this money into something that i know i'm not gonna fulfill or how long is it gonna take me to get this business you know Another thing that you want to look at is when you're building a business of that magnitude, you want to be able to be in that business full time because things are going to happen. You're going to have clients calling you. You're going to have to be able to stop what you're doing and go over there and talk with the clients. That's going to happen as you're scaling up in your business. So when you scale up to 100,000, that becomes full time for you. So you can't be working a full time job and trying to field questions from your clients unless you have somebody in place that's going to handle that for you. I always teach, hey, learn the business yourself so you'll know the ins and out of your business. You know, it's, it's easy to learn the business and then scale it up and then step away and maximize leverage from other people. But I just don't want to see you guys invest that type of money. And then it turns out that you guys don't even want to be in the business or things don't happen the way they sh you thought they should have happened. Please make sure that you are, you know, really mindful of what you're getting into. Because once you give that master, master franchisor your money, you're not going to get it back. Whether you fulfill it or not, that money is gone. That's You've invested in your business. So make sure, even if you want to scale your business, use that money to buy more contracts outright. But you want to make sure that you have a 
good plan of action when you start taking on these contracts and you start paying this type of money to build your business fast. I don't, I don't believe in building fast business. I believe in getting in on the ground floor and working my way up so I can know the ins and outs of the business. But that's just me. That's just how that's that helps me. That helped me and my wife out. You guys may be different, but you know, I just wanted to stop by and just give that t bit of information because I'm getting a lot of questions about, hey, what plan should I buy into? At the end of the day, you're building your own business. You choose what kind of plan you want to jump into, but I can only get, guide you guys on how me and my wife scaled our business from 2,500 to over 250. That's just how we did it. There's all kinds of ways to scale your business. You just got to make sure that you have a plan in place to do that. Hey, good, good talking with you guys. If you guys need me, leave a comment uh, below and I'll reach out to you soon. Thanks.